how to use LinkedIn for procurement professionals. Now it's very important that we understand that LinkedIn is the social networking platform that you want to be on because it makes a big difference. People need to find you. It's not as like the old days where everyone you knew knew you. There's a whole nother world out there. So if you're looking to expand your professional presence, today is for you to understand how to use LinkedIn. Now I'm not going to go into the technical things. What I'm going to talk about is strategy and things to focus on so that when you are LinkedIn in LinkedIn you can do the right things that make a big difference. Now this is important because as you can see there's over 467 million users in over 200 different countries around the world that can get access to your information. So whether you're looking for that other job, that new opportunity, maybe even starting your own business, LinkedIn is where you need to be. The other thing you want to think about is, you know, that you're in the US, you may find that there's other markets that you might need to tap into. 24 different languages, 1.5 million professionals in different industries all over the world. The demographics, 57 users, 57% of the users are male, 44% are female, and I would say that's changing all the time. 41% of millionaires use LinkedIn. 13% are between the ages of 15 and 34. This taps into our millennial market. So if you're a hiring manager or you're in the millennial era, then this is where you need to be. This is where everyone goes. If you're a marketer, so if you're thinking about starting your own business, you're going to market on LinkedIn. If you're going to start your own procurement services business, this is where you need to be because that's where they're going to find you as well as this is where they find LinkedIn as a professional, credible source of information. 80% of business to business leads, so in your own uh, procurement business, right here, you're going to find your leads as well as social media, LinkedIn. I can tell you this is one of the only networks that I use to market my business. And I do many different businesses, not only in the supply chain world, procurement world, but also travel world and consulting around. LinkedIn is the one place you need to be. So what is LinkedIn all about? It's not just about recruiting, where the recruiters are going to find you. However, if you are looking for a new opportunity, this is where they're going to find you. Business to business, key. Paid ads are not the only way to make LinkedIn work for you, and I'm going to share with you how that works today. It's a global site, so whether you're talking to people in your own country or all over the world, this is where you want to be. You're not going to think about, you know, don't discount the business to, to consumer opportunity because there's professionals that are not only looking for business to business opportunities, but they're also buying stuff for themselves. So these are also where the consumers are. The best thing I like about LinkedIn is the professional nature of the whole thing because it's not about, you know, cats and dogs and, and all the silly stuff that you find on other social networking platforms. It's really about professionalism your services, the services that are offered out there, why it makes a difference so you can go there and find the stuff you're looking for and not have to worry about all the fluff stuff. And you don't have to provide your personal information. It's a professional network and that's what people expect. So being personal on LinkedIn is not a requirement where it may be a requirement on other social networks. So just consider that as well. Now where is, what's my background and why am I able to talk to you about LinkedIn is that well when I came out of the Marine Corps about 10 years ago now, I had to start my business and LinkedIn was just starting up and then over the years I've just found that LinkedIn is the number one place to start finding new opportunities. That's where other professionals are, where other professionals are going to be and you need to be there so you can share your information in a way that makes sense to them. I've been all over the world doing many different operations and I can tell you that it makes a big difference knowing who is in your network and how they can find you. I've written a few books out there, so if you want some more information about this, go to Amazon.com. You can look those up, and that way you can find a little bit more information about supply chain, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about LinkedIn. And whenever you're on a social media platform, you want to make sure that you have goals. 
Otherwise, you end up wasting a lot of time. You spend time searching, clicking, finding things because you just have no purpose there. You're, you're not working instead of networking. So just like if you're going to a networking event looking for a particular business to meet or a particular person to talk to, same thing with social media. You want to establish goals. And goals make a difference. It helps us stay focused on the things we want to do. We want to make sure those goals are specific, measurable, and attainable. And here's a couple of examples of some goals is I want to increase my social following or I want to gain 1,000 likes by Christmas. More specific, more timely, gives you focus and purpose when you're on social media so that you're not wasting your time. And we don't want to waste time on LinkedIn. We're professionals. LinkedIn is a professional network, so they don't expect you to be there 24-7 either. You can post something, come back a little bit later, read up on it, comment on it, like it, share it, and you know there's some other metrics there that we'll talk about as well that you want to keep to know that you're doing the right things. Some goals you want to think about. Are you trying to generate traffic in this nice website here, but to you as an individual? Are you looking to spring more people to you? Are you looking for a new opportunity? And I can tell you there's always a new opportunity. And having a fresh LinkedIn presence enables those opportunities to find you because that's where people are looking. Or are you starting a business, a blog, a website? You want to drive traffic. Specifically, is that one of your marketing goals? Are you looking to... Build your social following where people start to follow you and you become a thought leader in your industry, in your procurement services that you're offering. Is this one of those areas that you want to be known for? So you're starting to develop a following. Are you looking to maybe have a passive presence? This means that you're on LinkedIn, you're current, you're relevant, and then as people find you, they're going to find you to give you those opportunities. So it's important to have that passive presence. This is where you've been working in the same job for three or four or five or ten years and all of a sudden a headhunter calls up and says, hey, Randy, I got an opportunity. Are you interested? Based on what they found on LinkedIn. But if you don't have that purpose, you don't have that focus, you're not going to be properly presented on LinkedIn for those opportunities to find you. Are you looking to build your brand? What I mean by your brand is everyone has a personal brand today. The days of working for a company for 40, 40 years are gone. One, companies aren't loyal to you, and there's no reason for you to be loyal to those companies unless they're giving you value as much as you're giving them value. So building your brand, showing value in the community, your professional community on LinkedIn, making a difference. This is where you can do that. And again, it's a professional community, not a social community. So you can be professional here without sharing your personal life. Are you going to expand your audience? You're starting your procurement services business, and all of a sudden you have two or three followers, people that know you, and then those two or three followers know two or three followers, and it expands by nine, by 18, by 36, and it just slowly expands because I can tell you also nothing stops the clock. So the sooner you start to build a presence, when you need it, it will be there for you versus all of a sudden, hey, I, have an I, I need a job or I'm looking to start a business. How do I start social media? Now's the time to start. Now's the time to start. So get on LinkedIn and start building that. Enhancing and repairing your public image. Do you have a reputation? Maybe you have a reputation you don't know about as well as maybe you don't have a reputation at all other for people to find you. So going on LinkedIn is important to build that professional network, that public relations so people get to know you in a way that you want them to know you professionally. So these are all different goals you want to establish. And when you think about how people use social media today, this is important because your employer, your potential employer, your colleagues, your vendors, people that you work with are going to find you online. And you can either control that message or have it controlled for you. Do market research. Find information about people you may want to hire, companies you might want to work with, vendors that you need to fulfill a contract opportunity clients that you want to work with and maybe sell your services to or work for sometime in the future. So this is where you can find these informa this information and I'm going to go through some things that I do and I'm going to give you a very secret tool that you can use. It's not going to be on the presentation that people that didn't attend are not going to get to where you can automate this stuff. And I can tell you it makes a big, big difference. If you can automate social media to where when you do get on social media, things are very very focused. 
Uh, that's going to be really cool. I'm excited to share that with you here in a few minutes. Now, what is the strategy? This has to do with what I call and have learned about. It's not my invention. I've learned this through many different marketing classes and training that I've gone through, and it's called the conversion funnel, the funnel philosophy, where you have a lead magnet, which is some free type of information where people give you information, such as their email, their name, email, phone number, or simply follow you on LinkedIn. So you're going to give them some type of reason. It could be a free report, a free infographic, just something interesting you're saying where they want to learn more about you and find you as a thought leader to where they're going to start to follow you. And then you're going to create a trip wire. Now, the trip wire is where a prospect client, a follower, a passive person becomes an active person in your world. Either they buy something from you at a low cost, 2 or $3, depending upon your price point and what you're offering, or if it's looking for an opportunity, they're going to offer you an opportunity to sit and, and, and get that next job. So that's a tripwire. And then your core offer, what you offer, what is your service, what is your value add to an organization? That's your core offer. Why are people going to pay you money? Pay you money. So this is what, something you want to think about, your core offer. And then your profit maximizer. This is where you make the, 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 the what we'll call the whale opportunities. This is where you sell in your core offer, where maybe they hire you for a particular contract or a particular opportunity, and then you show more value. You get higher raises. You get bonuses. You get other contracts. You start to maximize that profit, profitability, and then you always have your continuity program, which leads them right back around to the lead magnet, which then starts the process all over again. And you do this continuously continuously. Those of you who follow me on LinkedIn and get my emails, you know I'm always giving you new information, not only offering you training, but giving you reasons to follow that training, giving you new value adds to your life so you can be more effective in your career. So that's the overall strategy, and I'm going to show you it, the strategy in action, and you may have followed this strategy while you were in this funnel learning more about LinkedIn training. So how do we get started? How do we get started? This is where I'm going to switch over we got a little slide here, but I'm going to actually show you my LinkedIn profile. All right. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and open my online. So while that's connecting here. So just think about now that you've started to think about using LinkedIn. Is this, Let's go ahead and go to full screen. See, all right. Here we go. This is my LinkedIn profile. All right. So when you have a LinkedIn profile, this is what you know who you are. Okay, let's get a different color. I want something that's going to stand out a little bit. Uh, let's go with blue. I like blue. Okay, so who you are, what your title is. Okay, that's important. That's important. All right, basically what people need to know about you. And then you're going to basically give what we call that opportunity to tell them exactly what you offer in the first sentence. Okay, as so you can see right here, right now. From what I'm offering, let me go back over here. It's like very much everyone, a lot of people know me for the procurement training that I do. Let's see, can I erase this? There we go. Yeah, I can. All right, come back around. All right, here we go. So here, I'm very, like within the first three sentences, they know exactly who I am, what I offer, how I do things. CPSM training, I give them a reason to talk to me, and I tell them how to call me within the first few sentences. So anyone looking for CPSM training is going to find this information here, and they're going to know that. Then I give them a little bit more information. Okay. Now what this is down here is what they call SEO, search engine optimization. So all of these words are the words people would use to find me, to find me, either supply chain management, CPSM training, procurement training, sourcing training, all this information and all this gets gets inputted so when people do a Google search they can find you and you're actually your LinkedIn profile will show up. Now down here you've got videos I've done alright so these are videos people can look, look on those videos get more information on these specific videos they can watch this stuff okay so this just things shows content, shows value, makes me relevant, gets me higher in the rankings so people can find me on LinkedIn as well as other places on the internet. This is my dashboard, tells me who's viewed my profile, who's looked at my post, how many opportunities have people been looking for me and where I showed up. 
all this different information so that's how you can measure things so when you think about your goals is I want to be viewed at least 100 times in the next week so you're gonna go from 500 to 600 I want to be viewed up to a thousand times within the next month these are all different metrics you can use to help drive your performance so you can have focus when you come here it's like what am I doing to get viewed? what content am I putting out there okay now these are all the articles and other activity that you can do online now if you think about the information I, I had before where you had the lead generator and the tripwire this is where you're presenting your lead generator this is where you're writing your articles and you're giving people things to do to come find out just like you can see here okay LinkedIn strategy click here boom it takes them to the registration page I don't know if it's gonna work because we already started here let's see uh, okay yeah so but this is where they give my name email and they get into the training okay so that's a trip or what we call lead generator working into a trip wire we're coming up to the trip R. You'll see that at the end. You'll actually see that play out here. Okay, so this is where we see all this information. We have all my activity. As you noticed, we may have noticed, is here you start to see views. All right, you start to see how people are paying attention to my content, what they're looking for, how they're involved. You can have a little bit of personality, but notice, okay, just notice the number of views here when I have my personal photo versus the number of views here, where I have something that was a little bit more generic that was easy to under, understand and easy to use just a little point we'll talk about that when you get into RFX Academy and we start to talk about how to build your business your brand those are certain things that you can get involved with as well so let's go back here okay now this is if you look up here at the top this is your network all right your network this is the people that you can see you can you see all your different connections this is how you can do a search let's see here we go come on now I can do a search right here. These are all the different connections. I can write messages to specific people. If I want to do a search, for example, I want to find CPSM certified professionals. Boom. Hit a CPSM. They'll do a search. They'll all pop up. And I can do a screen. It'll tell all the people that I know that are involved in CPSM, all these folks. Okay. Now, just to interpret this a little bit, this gives me the name their connection these means I can directly message these folks if this was a second or third I could not message them alright these are all different people ways that are all involved in CPSM as you can see uh, what's the result they give me a result here ah, 14,000 now I can screen this down a little bit more where I say first connections only so if I want to know everybody in my network that was a CPSM certified person it'd be 390 folks okay and then I can send messages and do some other things as well which we'll talk about a little bit later now jobs if you're looking for jobs that are posted here messaging this is where you can actually talk to people and this is where you're going to show them how to to speak with them send them messages all these different things all this good stuff okay all this is available for you again I'm not going to get into the technical side of LinkedIn this is stuff you can do on your own and you can play with it but I want to make sure you understand today is that your profile needs to be sp spectacularly representing you and what you want to offer to the marketplace either for new jobs new opportunities whatever it is okay you want to make sure that's there here are your experience these are different companies what you've done now when you write this up you don't have to you want again people to you want people to see things you want them to see so if you don't want them to see that you know you are you know, a stock boy back at whatever ABC grocery store when you were 18 years old like I was you don't put that here you put the relevant experience you want to show people so that they can find you Okay, so they can find you and say, yep, this is the kind of person I want to talk to. This is the kind of person I want to work with. You have other things, you know, as far as universities, this is other people's way they can connect you, your certifications, your other experiences, your endorsements, and recommendations. Recommendations make a huge difference. Not only recommendations, but relevant, timely recommendations. Not just what was there three or four years ago, but things that are there today. And all you have to do is ask for recommendation pull it up find out who you want to talk to okay Randy we'll just put it up there or Randall okay all well, let's see if let me recommend it myself just to give you an example okay so that's another business I have but that's another presence 
So I can tell them, I can do all these different things, and that'll be something else, is how do I get recommendations and accomplishments and then other interests. These are all different things that you want to show in your profile. Okay, let me come back out of stop the sharing. We're going to get back to the presentation. Over here, shut this down. Stop sharing. All right. So here, back to the presentation. All right, here, let's go back down to where we were. All right, right here. Get your profile. Get your profile squared away. Make sure things are accurate. All right. And then building pages and groups. This is where you can build different pages for you, your personal brand, your your group, which I'm going to go through and show you some actual groups that I built, how the pages are important. This all goes back to SEO, search engine optimization. So when people type in keywords in these searches, you pop up based on why you want people to find you. If you want to talk about procurement, you talk all about procurement, create content that talks about procurement. If you want to talk about starting a business, you have that kind of content. If you want to talk about uh, information technology because you're an expert in that area that's the things you want to put into all these different areas your pages your posts your content you want to put all that in together all right as well as joining new groups and we'll talk about strategies here when we talk about different stuff okay different things you want to be involved with and why all right but let me bounce back to show you groups and different pages go back to my desktop all right open this up Again, I want this to be relevant for you so that you can actually start taking action today. Full screen. All right, here we go. Boom. Okay, so we talk about LinkedIn. This is your, your, your profile page. Over here is different things. Okay, this is where you're going to have groups, insights, all these different things. So we're going to talk about groups just for a moment. Let's talk about groups. Is this over here, down here. Now, groups are basically communities where you have interests. These could be professional interests or personal interests or other things. Okay, so all of these are different groups that I'm involved in, as well as I've created a few groups. And these are where I'm an owner of a group. Okay, it's really easy to start a group. Basically, come in and you can actually open it up, CPSM online training, and you can manage the group. This is where you can post relevant stuff and communicate with your community. Now, one thing I want to make sure I stress nice picture there Randy, is that all of this takes time. That the sooner you start, the sooner you can build. And no matter where you are today, you can build something for the future. All right, that's the important message for today is get started today. If you're thinking about starting your own business, if you're thinking about finding a new opportunity in another business, working for someone else, whatever it is, you must build a LinkedIn platform for you now. Just start. These are things you can do at night, late at night, when everyone's in bed. Add your pictures, add your content, write an article, all these different things. All this stuff you can do on LinkedIn. And it doesn't take a lot of time versus building a website and trying to drive traffic to it that way. You already have traffic right here. You already have traffic. You already have a network that can share your content to build your presence that are out there. Okay. So how do I start a group? Just come over here. Like I said here, come to groups. Let's back up. And you can start your own group. Right here, it says create a new group. Okay, let's pull this out of the way. But here, it's simply create a new group. And you put in the information, the group, about this group, put a picture, the rules. And this is where you want to basically tell people no politics, no religion, no anything that might make people angry. You may want to say no soliciting in this group. You may want to say only talk about procurement, sourcing, starting a business, whatever it is. Put those rules in there. Anything else, you're going to kick them out. All these different things. And you can be a private group where you only invite certain people, or it can be something that publicly people can join at any time. Real easy to start a group. Okay. Now, once you start your own company, you can build a page. This is where we come down and we have different pages. Where's our company pages? Okay, so you actually create a page. Here we got a showcase RFX Academy. Something we build, you want to create a page? Real easy to do. Work. Create different pages over here. Trying to see my secret. I don't want to share it yet. Okay. But you can create a page so that people can find you. All right. Create a company page. Just click that right here. 
small business, medium business showcase page. If you're an individual person, as an individual consultant looking for opportunities, build your own showcase page. Build your own small business page because you are your own business. Okay, how many people, I've heard many, many, many different stories, especially going through providing people certification of people that were hired, and one day they were not hired. They were no longer with that company, and then they started their search. They started their job search. It was too late. Now they got to catch up. So start it today. Build your own small business. Call it the Randy Malden business page. Call it the you know Tom Smith business page. Whatever it is, create your own small business page. And this is another place you can share content and share people with you. So when you're talking to people, say, hey, go to my business page on LinkedIn and get more information. This is something that I'm very passionate about when it comes to marketing because you have to market yourself today. The gig economy where you may end up building your own business out of necessity, not out of desire because you lose your job from another company and now you've got to feed your family and this is going to be the platform you're going to show people you're available you're going to find the clients that you might need even if it's for a temporary gig till you find that more permanent position all this is going to happen on LinkedIn all this is going to happen on LinkedIn and it's very simple as I said to start your own page create a company page create a group real easy to do start to build a following and it doesn't have to be large a lot of us don't like to put ourselves out there you saw some of the groups I were, were very small, but they're quality groups, people involved, people that want the information I'm offering, and the information I want from people as well. It's all there in those groups. Okay, now here we go. Secret sauce, the secret sauce to make all this work. So I hope you're paying attention. Right down here, you might see what I call LinkedIn Helper. LinkedIn Helper. This is where you can automate all this stuff. Now, all this pure disclaimer, I do not receive any commission or affiliate inf affiliate you know, uh, money for promoting this service. I found it was really helpful. I want you to maximize LinkedIn. So how can you create your presence on LinkedIn while you sleep, while you're at work? I don't have time to spend hours and hours inviting people to join my network. Well, this is how you do it, folks. Right here, right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull this up. LinkedIn Helper. Uh, show you this here okay LinkedIn helper go here it's a $99 a year and you're gonna find out why it's important to do this okay LinkedIn helper uh, make sure you get to the right website it's not right it's not right yeah. make sure you get to the right website website here it is boom all right just go to LinkedIn helper.com okay LinkedIn helper.com it's an attachment to Google Chrome, and now I shall show you the magic. I shall show you the magic. All right, here it is. So I pop it open, and some of you may have been invited. You got here. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can visit auto profiles. Usually, what it is, if you visit someone, someone visits you. So that's another way to generate traffic. So that's something you can do. Auto profiles. You can follow people. You can collect, select, and invite second and third contacts. All right, this is what I've done. All right, so boom, go through, you can collect the names. I don't want to do a tutorial on LinkedIn. I just want to show you this is a great tool. When you join in, you get this, they'll train you on how to do it. But basically, I come in, I put together my message. Hey, Randy, I saw your profile on LinkedIn and would like to connect to position, their position, which is right here, right? So it makes it more personal. In location, Satellite Beach. Thanks, Randy. And you just simply set it up and you invite. Click stop invite. Okay, and watch this. This is really cool. Start inviting. It's going to go over there. It's going to show you. It's really cool. It's going to pull them up. It's going to invite them. We'll come back to this in a minute. But it, it does it automatically. It does it in a way that LinkedIn will not kick you off the platform. It does it as if you're logged in. And what it's basically doing is the the automated stuff that you don't have time to do. Think of the message once and invite people. And you're seeing it work now. Okay, it's going to pop up. It's as if I found this 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 profile. I'm looking at this profile. Next, going to pop up. Connect. Boom. Right here. Going to add a note. Boom. Types it up as if I'm typing. Now, the software is doing all this. Software is doing all this, not me. All right. And this is what's happening while I'm at work, while I'm at a presentation or conference, while I'm sleeping at night. It does it automatically. Automatically. Puts it all together, and then it's going to send the invitation. Bingo. Right here. 
bam, invited. So you don't have to sit there all day and type that stuff out. It happens automatically. It happens automatically. Now I'm going to stop this just because I want to show you that your network. You can send messages via LinkedIn. Okay, it comes into that message box. People get that and they look at it versus their email. Message recently added connections. There's so much you can do with this. All right, so much you can do with this. All right, so I want you to understand it, use it. It's worth the investment. Again, full disclosure, I'm not getting nothing for this. Just simply offering it to you so you can get into LinkedIn and start getting the most from it because the, what you want to do is build your network. Build your network. So that's the value I want to share with you today. All right, let's go ahead and stop sharing. We're going to come back. Come back over here. Ding. All right, and sharing. Go back to my presentation. Okay, so this is, you know, this is all the stuff. Come on now, presentation, let's go. And you can hear the passion of the voice. This is such great, great stuff. And, and when I came out of the Marine Corps, just to share with you my story and why I feel it's so important that you build your presence, your business, because you are your own business. You cannot rely on businesses today. I came out of the Marine Corps after serving 20 years, having a master's degree, a doctorate degree, and man, what did I think I was qualified and I could not get a job. Point blank. Could not get hired because I did not have the right skill set in the way they understood it, whatever it was. So I had to start a business. And it took me months, years to where I am today. Now we're going on 10 years to build a business that I can pick things up and call people and generate funds, income, revenue for my family. And that's what's most important. You have to take care of your family. And you can't take care of your family unless you have a job. And if you're relying on a company to give you that job at any time, that company can say adios, see you, not, see you later, sayonara, all those different things for company reasons, business reasons. Not because they don't like you. It's because, hey, we can't afford you now. We need to put somebody else in cheaper. Or we just, we're going out of business. And there's nothing you can do about it. So you have to take action. You have to build this stuff today. All right, so right now what I want you to think about is build your plan. Build your plan. What are you going to do on LinkedIn? What is it you want to offer on LinkedIn? Think about your specialty today. All right, think about your specialty today and what you do in day in, day out. It could be in supply chain management, procurement, sourcing. It could be negotiating contracts. It could be contract administration. It could be RFPs, reverse auctions. Whatever it is that you do well today, start to flush out that LinkedIn profile so it can show you what it's all about. Start to think about an article or two, something you can write about. Now, here's another secret. You have that cell phone, smartphone, sitting to your left or right. You can pick it up. You go to the record function, and you record a three-minute rant about what you do. I am involved in re re requests for proposals. I do those day in and day out. The key to doing a request for proposals is having the right vendors involved in that. The way I do that is X, Y, Z, T, you know, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. And you put all that into your record function. Once you put it into your record function, then you take that recording and you transcribe it. And now you have an article. You transcribe it into text. You edit that text. And now you have an article and you're done. So within 15 minutes, you have the article written and done written and done. If you don't have time for it, then you find someone else to outsource it to to transition to to translate or transcribe that audio into a recording, a text recording that you can use. Okay? That's how you can create an article. That's how you can create an article. There's other things you can do, optimize this, find other people in similar areas and industries that do well, people that rank high in LinkedIn for that area and and model what they do. Don't copy it, but model it. All right, and start creating, curating, and posting content. What they talk about creating, curating, uh, creating content. Let me go ahead and um, let me share this with you, because when you start to like people, they start to like you too. All right, so let me pull this back up, share with you my screen one last time before we wrap it up today. And boom. Okay. Okay, so full screen. Post. So it's real simple. All you have to do, you see certain things, is here. You see something that you like, just come down here. You can like it. If you like it, usually what happens is the person who owns this then comes back and likes your stuff. If you comment on it, not only do people, does this person see that you commented on it, everybody else sees these comments. 
starts to drive traffic to you and you can share it you can share it to your network okay you just click share and see right here boom 20 to it's really cool you know this is cool okay now this is for demonstrate for trying to be a little bit more purposeful in what you're doing and then you pop post it boom you launch it out there and you share it now your entire network ha sees it the strategy there is you share your content of other people then they will share your content which will continue to grow your network so that's when it comes to curating that's what we're talking about there okay all right so now we're getting to the good stuff getting to the end I know you guys are busy. I appreciate you spending time with me today. I'm really excited about not only you guys getting on LinkedIn, getting your plan together. Do something. That's the most important piece for you today is to do something. Start building your network on LinkedIn. Because when you go and get that new business opportunity, whatever it is, it's going to be based on how well you leverage LinkedIn. It's all about numbers. For those of you who have been in sales, those of you who are thinking about sales, it's all about numbers. The more people you get your message in front of, the more people are going to find the message clicks with them and they're going to take advantage of what your services that you're offering. How we're going to do that today is RFX Academy. I'm putting together a program. I've got it put together. We're going to be launching it soon. And all you have to do is go to rfxacademy.com and just simply put in your name and email and join the list. And when we get ready to launch the program, you send, we'll send you it and say, hey, we're going to give you early bird access. These are going to be deals that aren't going to be offered to other people. And what I'm going to do is show you how to build your procurement services business. We're going to grow one together, and it starts now. It starts today, and it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. We're not even talking pricing today. I just want to know if you're interested. If you're interested, go to rfxacademy.com right now. Put in your name and email address and just say, yes, I want to learn more. I want to know more about this opportunity. And sometime next week, next couple of weeks, you'll start to get a little bit of information about how we're going to put together RFX Academy, build this community so we can start to have procurement professionals that can leverage their expertise in a way that secures their family and future outside of the company they're working for. And now some of you are thinking right now, like, hey, I've been working for this company for 20 years, 30 years, 10 years, 5 years, I really like it, and I have no plans for leaving. There are people in companies that had those plans forever, and next thing you know, they were out the door simply because the company was sold, they had a merger and acquisition. They were no longer needed or they went bankrupt for whatever reason. And then they started thinking about starting their own business. Ladies and gentlemen, that's too late. You have to start now. Start now doing the little stuff. Everything takes time. Everything takes time. And I've started a few businesses and I can tell you from experience, three years is what you're looking at before you're going to start to see something that is predictable. Predictable. Okay, so start today, start your timeline so that three years from now, hopefully you're in position to take advantage of whatever's going on in the market. Hopefully you don't need it any sooner, but you need to start today. Okay, so just go there, go to rfxacademy.com, put in that information, get on my list so we can start to share this information with you today. Now for being here today, don't want to leave you empty handed. You have an opportunity to get the best deal possible best deal possible on our CPSM certification training which includes everything and I do mean everything all right everything click that link go to that offer right there for 1997 you get absolutely everything you possibly need for CPSM certification to include all the books the online training and a live boot camp which you can schedule we've got one a couple weeks in San Diego but we also have one in the end of the year in Orlando where you can come in, you get that schedule. So by being here, you get an opportunity to get this off not only $500 off the retail for the boot camp, but you also get the CPSM learning system, which is included. That's a thousand twelve hundred dollar value. If you're not a member, if you are a member, it's a seven hundred ninety five dollar value. Either way, that's money you don't have to spend because it's included in this package right here. You get the online training where you get access to it 24 seven all day long to train and it's being very successful. We've had nobody ask for our paying re-exam fees so far this year. So we're doing really, really well with this new program. So people come in, they get trained, they get what they need and they get certified, which adds to your credibility on LinkedIn as well. So if you are certified, congratulations, make sure it's on your LinkedIn profile, recommend this program to your colleagues who are not certified as well. And as you're not certified, let me know. 
and we will get you certified by simply clicking on this link and we will take care of you. I really appreciate everyone's time being here today. Thank you so much. This recording will be available, but right now make sure you go out, get your name on the list so that we can let you know more about RFX Academy as we launch here in the next few weeks. With that, have a wonderful day. Be safe, be profitable, and take care of your family.